Hello everyone, Cam's Collectibles here, and today we will be unboxing the Blizzard Legacy Collection Blaster Box. So, as I told you in my previous video, guys, so this is one of the packs that Blizzard made in um, 2023, and this box is kind of like the least popular version because it does contain mostly, um, it, I guess, more value for your buck. They allow you to purchase in the complete series using these packs and be able to you know complete your collection without paying too much so we'll see what's inside that but before i move forward if you have any questions on the actual set please make sure to check my previous videos that explain to you a bit how the cards work and the differences between the blaster box and the main hobby box this one is more expensive has a greater chance of getting you those more rare variables car or parallel cards this one's a kind of a i would say not cheaper version, but it, it does get the whole set in there. You do have a chance to get so common cards, of course. You have a Horde Rare Parallel. This one's pretty much one in every pack. There's a chance for a Molten Core Parallel, which is one in 70. That's what's written on the box. And then, I guess, a chance of some other special cards for 1 to 140. So these are... I guess rarer. So what we'll do today, I'll actually try to see how many we'll get. So maybe you guys can have an idea. So what we'll do, I'll set all the common cards that I get here, all the horde ones here, the molten core, if we get any, and of course some special cards. And again, of course, if we get any. So let's see. So I'll try to unbox it for you, of course. Plastic's a bit rough on this end. We're just gonna open it up. So there you go, guys. So here you have eight cards per pack, seven packs per box. So we're expecting to have about seven packs of this. As you can see, looks like this. And you got your seven packs here. And how do you know that these are different from the main packs from the hobby box? Is the character is different, so I believe you have Tyrael on the main ones, and this one's an Overwatch character. So here's our pack, we'll start to see what's inside, the box pretty much very standard. Let's put it aside, and here are our packs. So let's see what we get. I'm hoping at least to get like some special cards so that we can go ahead and showcase some rare ones. So again, like I mentioned in my previous video, here's where we'll see if we get some rare ones. For now, it's all commons, so I like opening them this side. Oh, what's this? Horde. Okay, so we have a Horde uh, card already. And that's pretty much it. So again, like you can see, I'll show the art on these. So you have Troll from Hearthstone, common. Oh, I don't have this one. Merden. And then... I mean, Okay, Elise, and this Uther in a Horde parallel. So it's nice red, shiny color, but no foil or anything special. And then we have some other here. So we'll keep on going, just make some space here because we'll be moving on to the next pack. I certainly hope there's at least one Molten Core. I haven't been lucky in these, so I still haven't had any Molten Core so far. So let's see. Nothing, nothing. Oh, a Horde. Oh, a Molten Core. Yay! <laughs> That's my first one. It's Lady Vash. Actually, you'll see, guys. That looks pretty rad. Wow. That's a nice card. It's my first Molten Core. Yay! <laughs> okay, so as you can see, guys, so this is where it says the rarity. And I didn't even have the common version of Lady Vash, so that's that's pretty cool. First Molten Core. And then we have Echo, so I'll place all the common ones here. And here's the Dark Wonder and Horde. That's pretty cool. Okay, moving on to the next pack. Yeah, it's pretty rough to open. Okay, so Kaltos, let's see, nothing, a Horde card, and that seems like this is it. Pretty much you'll notice that this is, you know, 
don't have a very high chance of containing super rare cards, so this is pretty much what you'll get in most of the packs. I'm just like showcasing them for you, but we'll move on to the more interesting <laughs> packs to see if we can get anything special. I'm already happy because I never really had any Walton Core before. And then um, let's see if we can score a second one. No. <laughs> okay, so this is common. It's good. I'm getting a lot of comments that I didn't have before. Let me just fix them. And we'll move on. So as you can see, guys, already pretty big stack of comments. That's only from one blaster, blaster box. And don't forget, there's 200 cards in the set, in the main set. We're not talking about the special cards here. The special are... As I explained in my previous video, they have a different like code on the on the set of card. So let's see here if we can get lucky. I'm starting to have some doubles. Okay, horde. No. <laughs> okay, so that's good because I see again some cards that I didn't have before as common. That's pretty cool because you can get this series completed, the base series set, pretty fast. Okay, so there was five packs. We have two more packs to go. And let's see. Okay, let's go. Come on, something. Oh, okay, at least something special. Just so that we can showcase it. So we'll go ahead and show you guys what it is. These are com common cards. This is one of the old games of Blizzard, so don't be surprised if you see those. But still nothing special. And we got a Horadric Cube with Leia. So these are the actual Diablo Horadric Cube. It's not Stone Cursed or anything. I don't think the Stone Curse come in the Blaster Box. So this one's pretty, I guess, a pretty standard, um, I guess, like subset. That if you're a Diablo fan, you can even create your own Horadric Cube and just like detach it from this. I like to keep it on the uh, on the actual uh, holder, but that's nice that we at least got one special <laughs> in all of this, and we got Deathwing as a Horde parallel, so that's pretty cool. I'll show you guys after like all the Horde parallel that I got, but so far these are the common cards. And last pack, do you guys think we can score another Molten Core? <laughs> that would be nice. Molten Core is definitely, definitely nice. And just so you guys can get a picture, these are the, I guess, Molten Core, some of the rarest cards that you can get in um, those blaster boxes. They, they go up pretty high on eBay. So no, sadly, we didn't get any. Mercy is pretty cool. We got Lady Vash, but in a <laughs> different angle. And then some other common cards. And then we have Lily as a Horde Parallel. But that's pretty nice still okay guys so as you can see a big stack of common so if you're again looking to have a good collection and not pay too much this is you know pretty much how you'll complete your set using the blaster box and i believe that they're pretty much in stock so you won't have any trouble finding them on the even on the upper deck store uh this is a big stack here uh, as you can see the horde cards that we got so we have Lily, Deathwing, this Prophet Velen, Nerzul, Zenyatta, and uh, Dark Wonder, and Uther. So still pretty cool. I didn't have any of those, so I'm happy. We had this special card from Jablo. Nothing special too much for me, I think, but I and I believe I already had it. Oops, one box fell. <laughs> and we have Lady Vash and Molten Core. That's definitely the nicest card I got. And that, that one goes for pretty much some value, I believe. We'll check it out on those stores online. So there we go, guys. I hope you liked this video of unboxing the Blaster Box. I'll do another one soon for the other uh, booster boxes that I have, so for the Hoppy Boxes. So make sure you keep an eye out on my page and subscribe. 
I wanted to say a special thanks to everyone who helped me out with my first video and help uh, with the support, the likes, the subscribes. I really, really appreciate it, guys. So again, wish you a very good day and uh, thank you again for following me and see you in the next video.